Hello guys, you're welcome to Immigrate with Army. We'll be looking at a university in the United States. Before we go into the details, uh, let me just give you a little bit of some background information regarding this university. So it's a top tier research university, okay, and they offer top programs in art, sciences, business administration, education, health sciences, and engineering. They also have a wonderful international presence okay which can be found on their campus and at the moment they have students from around 65 countries in the world okay the university also has been named a leading university worldwide in learning in living in support services according to the international student barometer before we go into some details which i think is relevant to you i would like you to start from the frequently asked questions just for you to see a little bit of some juicy information about this school. So the first question we'll answer is what financial aid is available for graduate students? And then on their website, the school says many opportunities exist to help you pay for the cost of higher education, including scholarships, grants, loans, and assistantships. So this gives you the information that funding is available in this school okay another question which i want you to see how the school answered it is this regarding application fee is there an application fee with my online application and the answer the school is giving is our online application does not have a fee for domestic students or international students okay so when you apply to a program in this university you are not going to pay anything for the application okay which i think is actually a very good opportunity for you another thing that international students are always worried about is english language proficiency when it comes to applying to schools in the united states and in some other countries okay so you can write one of these standard tests okay so toefl ielts ITEP, PTE, Duolingo, SAT, ACT, and then you will send your test scores directly to the school, okay? Or if you don't have it, you can also opt to enroll in the intensive English program. However, the interesting uh, information is that they actually have some exemption. So there are people from certain countries who are exempted from providing a test result for English language proficiency. You are exempt from the English proficiency requirement if you have submitted a secondary school or higher credential indicating graduation with the final two years of study and a degree from one of the following. So either in the United States or an institution with instruction conducted in English from Austria, Belize, English-speaking countries in the Caribbean, English-speaking provinces of Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, Nigeria, or the United Kingdom. So if you are uh, applying from Nigeria, you won't need to actually provide a test result for English language proficiency. Okay, so that is waived for you, which I also think is a plus for you. Okay, okay, so let's move on. Let's take a look at the list of programs that they offer. Okay. So they have more than 80 undergraduate and more than 50 graduate and doctoral programs in the school. From this program finder, you can actually do a search or you can choose your program, you know, based on the uh, first letter of the program. So you can choose it alphabetically. But if you want to take a look through the complete list, you can see it here. So for each program, you can see the different levels of study. So if, for example, if I click on this drop down beside accounting, I can see that they have accounting, you know, as bachelors and then they have, you know, other higher levels of study. We can look at aerospace engineering also. OK, so they have it at the bachelor's level. They have it at the master's. They have it at the PhD level. So you can take a quick look OK, at the program. It's, you know, the list is very exhaustive and I'm sure that whatever it is that you are planning to study, you can always find you know, a program for yourself here, okay? Moving on, let's talk about uh, the opportunities that are available for you in terms of funding in this school. So first, they have what they call a transparent tuition offer, 
okay so in most universities they will also, they will only tell you what the first year of your education will cost but university of dayton okay will give you a personalized overview of the cost of tuition and scholarship award for up to four years of attendance all right let's scroll past that and go straight on to the scholarships that are available for undergraduate students. So, University of Dayton is proud to offer merit scholarships based on your academic qualification. And this is important. The majority of University of Dayton international undergraduate students receives an international merit scholarship upon acceptance. So, the majority of the students receive international merit scholarship. Currently, the International Merit Scholarship are worth up to $30,000 per year towards tuition costs. So I think this is huge, okay? So uh, there is opportunity for international undergraduate students to get these merit-based scholarships, all right? If you want to find out more, you know, additional information below that link, you can find out more information here. Okay, so let's move on to the graduate program. So what opportunities available for graduate studies in the University of Dayton? So the University of Dayton is proud to offer a graduate student tuition at affordable rates. Okay, so the tuition is affordable for the uh, graduate programs. However, they also have some opportunities for uh, assistantship for the graduate student okay so the university of dating offers a limited number of assistantship for certain graduate and doctoral academic programs so teaching and research assistantship may provide tuition a monthly stipend or assistance with housing costs so you can also explore this opportunity if you qualify for this so that you can use it you know as a form of uh, funding for to cover the cost of your education at the University of Dayton, all right? Okay, so finally, let's look at the, the admission requirements. Well, so what, what are the requirements if you want to apply to this school, okay? So first, you need to understand that, you know, the application requirements, the entry times, and the deadlines vary by program. So one thing you need to look out for is, first, when you identify the program or the programs you're interested in, Try to look at the application requirement for that program and then the deadline for the application, okay? Basically, what are the steps to apply? First, you will need to submit an application, okay? So either you are interested in, you know, the graduate application or a doctoral application, you apply directly online, okay? And then you would need to provide letters of recommendation. So a recommendation form can be sent directly to the individuals who are writing your letters okay so you can provide the names of the professors or you know the person who will be providing a reference uh, for your application and then the school will send them um, the the recommendation form which they can complete uh, themselves alternatively if they are unable to complete the form if they would prefer to provide you know normal letters of recommendation then they can send it directly to this particular email here okay so the recommender can send it directly to this particular email and it will be added automatically to your application you would also need to write a personal statement or a writing sample okay and you will submit this in your online application all right transcript you will need to provide transcript from previously attended uh, institutions all right and then uh, also for those who the English language proficiency is not waived for, you will need to provide a scores, official test scores for this English language proficiency test. Okay. And then for international student, uh, you would need to provide a letter of financial support and a bank statement showing sufficient funds to cover the first year of study. So if you are applying as an, as an international student to any university in the United States, uh, this is one of the requirements. So this is, so they need you to provide like a letter of financial support and a bank statement. And that is what they would use to send you your uh, visa application document. Okay, once you're accepted into the program, okay. Also, uh, there are some programs, okay, certain programs may require a graduate entrance examination like the GRE or the GMAT. So, 
check the requirement for your program and then uh, you know provide all the requirement for the application okay so this is for university of Dayton, uh guys i know this is the period where people are you know making you know decisions on on what they want to accomplish this year so if you are looking for a school to apply for undergraduate or graduate programs you can consider university of Dayton. thanks guys for listening if you've not subscribed don't forget to subscribe okay also uh, connect with us you know through our um, through our social media platforms and um, you know you can drop your comment on the video as well and um, we wish you guys all the best okay and we wish that we hope we wish you guys all the best and we hope that your dreams for this year will be accomplished thank you and have a lovely day bye does not have application fee attached to the application the university of Dayton, which is the largest survey of international student satisfaction in the world so guys you are welcome to the university of Dayton in the united states 